Hello guys, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're looking at Infinity Wax yeah. Synergy Light, which is a lightweight ceramic coating that's been sent to me by Imran at Into Detailing. He thinks I need to check it out. Um, so let's talk about it first, guys. Whenever you see little protection products in a uh, bottle that are sort of advertised as ceramics, you always sort of wonder what they are. So the first thing I always want to know, is it water-based? And I think the answer is no, it's not water-based. This is a proper ceramic coating. Um, I'm guessing here, but probably not as concentrated in the solids as a small bottle one, which is going to make it a little bit easier to apply. Okay, I'm guessing. So if I get anything wrong, well, as always, apologies. What do you get for your money? Well, first of all, this bottle cost £19.99. So 20 quid and you get 100 mil of synergy light which they say will do about five cars which in my head looks like pretty reasonable reasonable value the products claim to last a year i think it's layerable so you can put more on later on you can put it on with full prep so decontamination machine polish or if it's a relatively clean car that doesn't need decontaminating you could wash the car down maybe degrease it detar it um use their prep spray to you know as a final wipe down and then put it on but for best results typically you know you do full machine polishing and degreasing because you know you get a lovely surface now some basic review information comparisons the two products that spring to mind are tac moonlight and gion can coat which are lightweight ceramics they cost Moonlight costs £34.95 for 250 mil, and Canco Evo, the new one, you get some cracking deals on the old Canco, so that might be worth looking at. Um, I think the old one you can pick up 200 mil for 19 quid from Interdetailing if you've still got stock. But I think everyone wants the new one. But the key thing to take away here is that those other products, I'm not sure if they claim a year's durability, but they are a bit cheaper, aren't they? So if you halve that, what's that? That's about... Uh, £16.66, is it? Something like that. Um, oh, £16.50, I don't know. Um, compared to £20. Uh, and you get, you know... Well, that's just the price comparison. But the cheapest of those is Moonlight, isn't it? 250 mil for 34 quid. So the Synergy Light isn't quite as cheap as two other offerings that I know of in that lightweight market. It does look different to those other offerings to me, because those other offerings have kind of got oil in them, which makes them nice to spread, I think. Um, this doesn't look like it's so oily to me, but it, so it might just be, it might just be loads more normal ceramic carrier instead of oil. I don't know, but I doubt it. So let's not speculate too much. Anyway, let's get this on the panel, guys. So this panel here, what we're going to do, I'm going to split this down in two parts for me, but for you, it'd be one video. You can see this panel is a bit hazy and a bit, you know, there's machine marring there. So it's been, it's been polished with heavy wool and I've still got some scratches there, which are great, sanding marks. So I can see how well this product fills it all in and improves the panel. And it does claim that it's going to darken and improve the panel. So that's always useful to me. Um, let's just get some degreaser on there. One second. Come on. There we go. Give it a shake. So, just spread this over it. Make sure our panel is squeaky clean. It smells quite nice. It's a bit of alcohol, boozy smell with some scent. Just let that flash off. How do you install this stuff, guys? Well, after you've prepped your panel, you should glove up, which I, I am doing here. Although this hand's not gloved, so I can stop the camera. <laughs> and you should spray the product into a ceramic applicator. I'm using this Carpro one here, it's quite nifty. <clears throat> but you could use a standard block with a suede applicator over it. So you just, you know, you wet the surface with the product. Uh, then spread it and then it says you can wait for 30 seconds to a minute um, before you buff it off 
then you buff it off with a cloth and then you inspect it and then you can do a final buff over the car. It says if you leave it up to 15 minutes, it's still okay and it's not difficult to, um, you know, remove. I just want to make sure this solvent has all flashed off the surface and we've got a really nice clean surface here, which is important. So what we're going to do, I don't like honking this stuff in because it's ceramic. So I'm going to just stand back. Oh, pull the pin. Grenade. Hold on a second. It's going to go, I guess the video is going to go horribly wrong. I'll pull the pin. Push the pin. Right, let's get someone here. Here we go. I'm just going to stand back. Really cautious about honking these in. So I'm just going to put a little masky on. I don't want to be honking in ceramic. It's the only thing I don't like about these. And then they tend to clog up the spray triggers. I've got the glove on the wrong hand. What an idiot. Oh, I do it left-handed. There we go. It's, it's important. Just, just we'll always want to handle ceramics well. Okay, so we're just going to... It's nice and easy to spread. Very easy. Not sticky. Sorry, I didn't have the camera there. So we're just going across hatch. That feels really nice to me. But I, yeah, what's gonna, the secret is in the buff, isn't it? There we go. Let's go and get a cloth, clean one. Should you throw these cloths away after you use them on a ceramic coating? Well, probably. <laughs> yeah, from what I, from the testing I did, but I don't know with this product. So let's just buff this out now. It's been on for about 30 seconds to a minute. Well, we'll give it a little bit longer. We're, we're above five degrees, but it's pretty cold today. Humidity's okay. So let's just wait for a bit. We're seeing a bit of a flashing going on there. And let's buff it out. And if you've got tape involved, you need to be careful. So I'm just going to buff down that long and nice and hard first. Clear that out. Right, let's buff it. Yeah, it's just easy. It's no grip at all. No, no. Um... It's interesting though. So probably just a nice, a nice light buff. Nice light buff. And then I won't flip because then I'll end up getting it on my hand. I'll fold. So I've got a clean side. And just buff again. Let's just have a look at that. And the light. The panel isn't perfect because it's, I haven't, you know, there's all marks in it. There is definitely a darkening effect going on there. Camera. Isn't showing it too well. Yeah, the camera. Let's put the light on the tape, and you can just see an improvement over the sanding. Not massive, but some. And obviously, we've got tons of swells in this panel. We should really wait for it to dry off as well. Maybe a bit of improvement. Certainly darker. Yeah, certainly less hazy. So it's got out some of the polishing haze. It's a massive deep scratch there. Don't worry about that one. Um, yeah, that's, that's okay. The, what, what the cool thing is, I don't have, as far as I know, that's another channel, I don't have any product smears, which is quite good because it was just nice and light to uh, buff. So this product needs seven days to fully cure. But this is really important. Uh, I think you can drive the car after like 30 minutes or something like that. After an hour or so, it can get wet, but it, you don't want to hit it with detergents until it's done a fuel, full cure. So you can apply this outside, put it on, and you're going to be okay. It says something in the description about it's got polymers in it as well to help with any potential early water spotting, which can be a problem with ceramic coating. So 
so far, so good. Price could be better. Application is really nice and I expected it to be. Um, I love the fact that you could put this on the car. It's gonna be easy to buff and you could do it at home and do it outside. And also, what I like about these coatings, if anything goes wrong, you haven't got a wet sand or really worry, you could go over it with a finishing polish you know, a pure abrasive and a DA and, and remove it if you had to, but it'd be very unlikely you'd need to with this product, guys. You might put a patch in somewhere. You might need to redo a little bit, but it's very unlikely. Um, so yeah, I will see you in seven days time where we'll hurl chemicals at this and see what it's like to remove, okay? Okay, guys, I'm back. What was a blink of a video frame for you, but it's been a weekend for me. <laughs> on this side of the test panel, we have the Infinity Wax light. And on this side, actually, you can see the line, can't you? Look at that. So that little section there, we have another market-leading lightweight ceramic product. So just first thing you can notice about these, these products, they do darken the panel out. So the haze on this, this side, where it's untreated, is from polishing with wool and aggressive compounds so we put a pretty poor finish on the car so that enables us to see what the products are doing a little bit better so there's definitely a good darkening effect the panel is swirled and there is some masking of the swirls you can see that look at the reflection of the light in this un um treated section now the reflection so that's not from polishing that is from putting the coating on. So the coating has definitely, for me, improved gloss. Um, and I can't see, oh, let's just have a look at that. I'm looking at in the viewfinder. So there's that reflection there. I'm looking at my hand, my fingers, as well as the light. For me, this coating seems to have a better, slightly better reflection, maybe. I don't know, you, you can see what I'm seeing. So maybe it's just seems slightly sharper to me. Don't know. But anyway, we've got the Gonio photometer here. So let's turn this thing on and just take some measurements. This will be some interesting real live data. Excuse me. And then we'll look at the water behavior and then we'll probably leave it at that because that's enough. Right, let's calibrate this thing. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, look at the black peril while you're there. Awesome. Oh, I think I might need to clean the lens. Yes, I do. Let's clean the lens. Hold on. Right. That didn't make you dizzy. Nothing will. So we have done our calibration. Yeah, 106.7. Which if we look on our tile, 106.7. So we're calibrated against that. Now let's just take some comparisons let's have a look at an untreated area of paintwork somewhere up here above my little sanding section so oh let's sorry ignore that what i want to do before we just start is clear the readings off so let's go down and let's uh clear everything right done right so let's have a look all right first reading so I'm just really interested. So our gloss and our R spec are very close, which is interesting. So pretty low gloss on this panel um, from just whacking it with wool and heavy compound, which is good. And well, we've dropped a little bit there. There's gonna be some inconsistencies actually. It's just gonna be the nature of it. Yeah, so you get an idea. We're sort of around about 67 on here. Um, that brick is really high, which is really interesting. The log haze is really high as well. So I didn't take, let's just go and have a look at the averages. So the average 20 degree gloss, 67.5. And let's have a look at some of the other stats. The average log haze is about 19. So let's just make a note of this. Where the hell is my pen? Oh, come on. Never improvise. Where's my pen? Is that over there somewhere? I've got a... 
Oh, there it is. Chalk marker here. Don't ask me where to get them from. <laughs> Google it. Google. Auto marker. Right. Okay, hold on. I can't get a lid off. So we've got Hayes 19.2. And let's just go with 20 degree gloss. Gloss. 67.5 okay now we go with now we need to take the recordings on this one this is just giving us a little look okay, how many readings did we do i can't remember we'll do four or five something like that as long as it's an average right if i don't delete all the batches yes so we're back to n equals zero so let's do some readings here Oh, there's going to be improvements. Yeah, it's a good jump up, isn't it? So just slapping a coating or these lightweight ceramics on sort of pretty bad paint makes a good, a good improvement. It won't be, it won't be completely consistent because we'll take one more because the panel is a bit sort of caught and dinked and scratched up and all that. So let's go to our averages for our alternative market leading um, thing. Lightweight ceramic, gloss average, 20 degrees, 75.6. Interesting, interesting the, the pen doesn't want to write on the ceramic as easily as the, the bare panel because it's repelling whatever's in here. Maybe there's a bit of water in the carrier. Um, and the haze, that's interesting. The haze is virtually identical. So I'd have thought that I'd have thought that would have been lower, that it would have improved the haze. 19.5, and it hasn't. So it's more or less done nothing to the haze, but definitely significantly increased the gloss. When you look in the reflection, you can see the quality of the reflected image is better. Um, the Rick is, is uh, lower as well. Okay, we won't worry about Rick and R-Spec. We'll just keep it very simple. Now, let's go over to here and get rid of this. Where is it? Menu. I'm running out of batteries. Quick. Right, four readings. Let's go. Let's go, champ. I reckon the gloss might be a bit lower. Oh, no. Okay. This thing doesn't lie. This thing doesn't lie. 77. 76. I think it's going to be up on gloss. Unless we get a real awful reading here. No, we didn't. So if we go to averages, 20 degree gloss, 77 units. So gloss, 77 units. There. So we're just getting a comparison. And so this is the Synergy Light. And 20 degree. Oh, haze is up. That's interesting. So let's just have a quick look at why the haze is up. Haze. But there is something that appears slightly better in the reflection of this one. So maybe that's what my eyes are seeing. Let's just go to this graph on the haze. Okay, so we had one high reading there. Um... So it's like 20. As you know, it's reasonably consistent. They were all above 20. So it's not it's not a one-off reading. So that's interesting. <laughs> Always use the word interesting. That data does not lie. It's not a spurious result. And that is a little two units is, is significant. And a, and a gloss unit is significant. So let's just take this for what it is. These lightweight ceramics make no difference in reducing haze according to the test we've just done, but they do increase gloss significantly on an average kind of panel that's looking, I know it looks good when it's all dark, but we saw it in the light, there's little marks on it, swirls on it, haze on it. So they do have a good improvement. So really, you know, a bit like a wax, the worse the panel is on the car, you slap a wax on, they have a really good effect, but if you polish a car, you know, make it all really look good, then, Sometimes the wax might lower the gloss, you know, if you polish it and refine it really well. Um, but the important thing with this review is that the Infinity Wax product has um, 
stood up, you know, compared well against the market leading one. Slightly more glossy, but it does introduce more haze. So there we go. Now let's go and have a look at the water behavior. Let's do this all in one take. Let's do this. Let's roll. Let's live life dangerously. Even with this bit of writing on there. Right, hold on a second. Look, we're ready to go. I'm just going to bring the panel on. Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's just move it over so we don't... Have one half of the panel in different light. Okay, here we have some water. Uh, oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Right, let's go. Okay, that's not mega hydrophobic, but it's decent. That is mega hydrophobic. Let's just go to stream. There's nothing on the panel. That's neutral. So it's fair to say, if you're a beadophobe, let's, let's just move this over here. Put it down, hold on a second. Doing this all large, you know. You're gonna love this. Right. Switch modes. Turn off our target targeting computer. There it is. There it is. Think. Right. Let's just put some beadage on. Oh, just suck my feet. There. Look at that. I've done that before. You can see straight away. This is the Infinity Wax. The beads are okay. They're okay, but some of them are flat lining. You know, there's not masses of surface tension. And then you look at this one here, and the beadage is much better. So it's not up to me in the review to say whether or not you like beading or not. It's up to you to sh for me to show you the product and for you to decide. And here's no beadage, you know. And then if we show the water behavior on a flat panel, oh, hold on a sec, just get that on. So that's like what you're going to see when you, when you run water on it. And here you're going to get a lot more reactive, volatile water behavior. And here, nada, no water behavior, really, just nothing. So that is the water. That is the water. Are we worried about the slickness? Not really. I can't feel any difference. Maybe one would slide down a little bit more. Who knows? Um, probably should have tested that. Um, I think that's all I need. There is one other thing though, isn't there? Well, I'm going to stop the video there. Okay, guys, let's finish this video off by summarising. Synergy Light. Let's go through everything. Recap. Is it a rip-off? No, 1999. Because we're scaling up to compare the prices, it's at a disadvantage. So if we scale those other products down, they're at an advantage. Do I think 1999 for 100 mil of lightweight ceramic is good value and a good price? I do, yes, and I would pay 1999. No problems, okay? The value is decent, but it's not a 10 out of 10 for value. Like 15 quid might be a 10 out of 10 or something like that. So it's a solid eight or seven or eight out of 10 for value. The next thing, the strongest thing about this product, I think out of all the things that I've looked at, is how it goes on the panel. It feels nice and smooth and light, and it doesn't sort of start treacling up on you, which is really nice. It's not, not a sticky coating. You can put it on, and it's not gonna cure overly quickly, so you haven't got to worry about it. Um, so there's probably less risk of getting high spots and stuff like that. If you do need to remove it because it's not as high and solid, it's probably going to come off the panel. So application for me is a big thumbs up. The other things we tested are just giving you little bits of information about how the product 
performs. And I think it's quite useful to show you that water behavior because if you're a bead monster, as I say, if you really want a hydrophobic coating, then this product is just kind of, has a reasonable amount of hydrophobicity, but it's not a real bead monster as I've shown you. So you won't like it if you're a bead monster. Or let's be clear, because you can put stuff on top of them, can't you, that make it bead if you want to. But if you want your coating to be the bead monster, this isn't. Uh, it, did, it tested well in the gloss. It added a real good amount of gloss to a poor panel, over 10 units of gloss, which is great. And it added a, an extra unit over our um, market leading product, you know, to give you a comparison, which is important to do. Um, and the other thing was it added more haze though on the downside. Um, would I be too worried about this product? You know, does this product not good in how it makes your car look? No, how good your car looks really is how much time you spend, you know, polishing the finish, machining it and refining it, really getting that gloss and that aspect to cap out. And then when you put products on top, as we've already demonstrated many times, um, they lose their ability really to add gloss. You know, they can add a bit of jetting and fresh dress look. But anyway, we've talked about that loads. So overall, would I recommend Synergy Light to you guys? Yes, I would. I'm in favour of coatings which only last about a year. Um, some things that are unexplored for me, what happens when you open this and you start using product and the air gets in? Does it start crusting up a little bit and going bad? Because the two market leading ones I compared earlier on are good for years after you've used them. So this that's an unknown, let's be clear. What is the other unknown durability um i can start hurling chemicals in fact i was going to do that on this test panel i could start putting acid wheel cleaner on them stuff like that you know wonder wheels is probably the only thing that's going to start denting them i'd have to leave it on there for hours what what will happen i would imagine disclaimer this is in my opinion is the product that's more hydrophobic will probably carry on exhibiting that hydrophobicity the longest but that's just speculation i wouldn't really worry about the durability of this product because nowadays you get so much in the bottle if six months down the line you're not seeing anything just clear off your car again and put another layer on it or just use like a spray and rinse product or a spray wax or infinity wax rapid detail spray which is a really good detailer and that lad hydrophobicity even if you know, these coatings, a lot of times if they disappear and you can't see the water behaviour, it doesn't mean they've gone. It usually means they're buried or, you know, so you've got to trust these coatings a little bit. Um, and I think about a year is about right for how long I kind of want to protect my car because I think after a year it benefits from a little bit of a, little bit of a clay and a polish, a light polish. So there we have it in the review, guys. Check it out. I'll put a link for it in the description. I think you can even get another 10% off it with the code Forensics. Try it. If it doesn't work, it's not discountable, but that will give you another two quid off, hopefully, and get it down to 18. And from what I can see, it seems like a decent product. Um, that's limited testing. Let me know in the comments if you've used it, what you think as well. And take care, and um, don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now. Over now. Holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. Where was I when you?